Okay, I want to have a moan. And you'll probably all disagree with me, but hey ho. Today, I want to rant about character backgrounds. Hi, hello, if you don't already know me, my name is Inwills and I create content every Wednesday on role-playing games based around my favourite rule set of Mithras. I produce rule videos, share our actual play sessions and videos like this one um, as part of the Gibbering GM series. So if you found this or any of my videos enjoyable or supportive, then please consider supporting the channel in any way you can. Okay, let me break this down into three short reasons and feel free to come back to me in the comments. Hmm, I might regret saying that. Oh, and by the way, at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you my most disliked backstory ever so stay tuned for that okay prepare for the onslaught here is why i hate character backgrounds okay first up depth of the campaign yeah so when i start a new campaign setting i'm not the sort of gm who creates the whole world before the characters step into it I tend to know the important things like the level of magic, a starting town and the local area, but that generally is it. The reason I don't create the whole world is because I want it to develop and evolve as we play the games and as the players and their characters interact with the campaign. But I feel that character backgrounds go against this. Yeah. The players want to know what lies beyond the mountains when they first arrived in London in 1920 or which system is their home world. But I might not have even created these places yet. And really and truly, if they're coming from those places, then I doubt whether or not the character characters are ever going to go back there. Okay. Rant number two about character backgrounds. Goals are already set. Right, so frequently in any campaign, players will add a final paragraph to their backstory that explains why they are here and what their goals are. They might be looking for a lost family member or discover hidden magic or find a lost artifact or even discover a new alien race. So with these goals in place, I ask myself, why have they joined up with the party? Why would they want to take the job from the last patron? They wouldn't be hanging around at the local starport. They would be following their goals, seeking and exploring. It seems to me that creating backstories can sometimes put characters and players at, at odds with the campaign. And as a GM, I have to weave several goals in and out of the campaign, as well as directing the main storyline. It can also get to the point in the adventure when one character states that they are going to follow someone due to their goal and the rest of the group just says, fine, catch you later. So in these instances, these goals from the character's backstory can actually be detrimental to the campaign. And number three, yes dislikes and hates okay then so often backstories detail what the character does not like or what they like it might be a race a situation or even another person this can present problems within the campaign for example if a player states their character hates dwarves or the alien race from neptune then 
what's going to happen when they discover another character is from Neptune or is a dwarf and this can provide conflict um, both to the storyline but also within the party the reason I don't want them to create these in a backstory is that I want them to develop in the campaign I want events to happen and situations to occur that allows the players to develop their characters maybe they nearly fall from a broken rope bridge or the local lizard man trader cheated them this these would add to the character's story and they could talk about it and remember and reminisce and would really add to the campaign it would also give the gms loads to work for in future adventures so rather than beginning with this backstory and dislikes or likes or hates or words or whatever they want I feel it's better that we move through the campaign and develop them as we progress. And if you've reached this far in the video, this is when I'm going to tell you the one thing that I really dislike. It's when players bring their characters to the table with the whole of their life mapped out including what color undergarments they like to wear i just i want to perhaps i'm selfish but i want the character to develop within the campaign rather than bringing a character that's almost like a, the finished product by all means write a 64 page book about what your character did from the age of 3 to 11 but come to the campaign first level age uh, just turned 18 and leave all that past in the book don't bring it to the table because it is at that point when they enter the campaign that I feel that their story really begins so you might be asking, as a GM, what do you want the players to come to the table with? Well, I'm going to tackle that in my next video or one in the future. So don't forget to subscribe and press that bell button to receive a notification when the video next goes live. Until next time, happy gaming everyone. This is the gibbering GM going back to his campaign without any backstories. Okay then, see you all later. See you. Bye. Just dodge those foul smelling fruit as they're chucked at me.